Key Visualizer for Cloud Spanner is a tool in the Cloud Console that helps developers and operations teams analyze Spanner usage patterns. It generates visual reports for your databases broken down by ranges of rows over time. And it provides insights into usage patterns at scale that are difficult to understand otherwise. I'm going to walk you through how to use Key Visualizer to look at usage patterns for a Spanner database that's used by an application I'm working on. I've recently inherited the responsibility for this application, and I'm not very familiar with it yet. First, let's get acquainted with the Key Visualizer interface. When you access Key Visualizer, you'll see a scan. The core of a Key Visualizer scan is the heat map. The heat map shows us the value of a metric over time, broken down into ranges of row keys. The x-axis represents time, and the y-axis represents row ranges. Low values are cold, represented by darker colors like purple, and high values are hot, represented by yellow or bright white for the highest values. The different patterns in the heat map can help diagnose issues at a glance. Each row range represents a contiguous set of rows in a single table or index. A row range is defined by a start and end key. Within each table or index, keys are sorted by primary key values. At the top of the heat map, there's a key for the heat map colors. As you hover over a cell in the heat map, you'll see details about the value, timestamp, table, and key bucket. You can select a portion of the heat map to zoom in. You can also select a time range using the date picker. You can pan around the heat map by clicking and dragging. You can use the select box to change between metrics. When I look at the graph for number of rows read, I can see that the reads for keys in the albums table are distributed fairly evenly across row ranges. However, for the singers table, it's yellow or hot across the board, and especially in the beginning row ranges. After looking at my application code, I notice the query singers last name function is called frequently. I can see that we'd probably benefit from having a secondary index on the last name field so that Spanner doesn't have to scan the entire table every time query singer's last name is called. We can do this with a create index statement or by using force index. I'll make the change and see what happens. With the application change deployed, we can see that the number of rows read has dropped dramatically for the singer's table. Seeing a single hot table is just one common pattern you may uncover with Key Visualizer. Here are some of the other patterns you may encounter and what issues they might indicate. A heat map with a single bright diagonal line or a triangle with a flat top can indicate a database that uses sequential keys. Sequential keys are an anti-pattern in Spanner, and you can learn more about why sequential keys cause hotspots and alternatives in the documentation on schema design best practices. A heat map with horizontal bands of bright color, separated by dark colors, indicate that specific row ranges are consistently being more heavily accessed over time. To address this, you can consider changing your schema design or your application so that the data in a heavily used row or in an excessively large row is spread across multiple rows. A heat map with multiple diagonal bright lines, either rising or falling, usually indicates sequential reads or writes to rows in a short period of time. If the lines correspond with read activity, such as a table export, no action is usually required. If you're experiencing performance issues during these reads, you can consider increasing the number of nodes for your instance during those time periods. If the lines correspond with write activity and you're experiencing performance issues, you should consider changing your workload to a random write instead of a sequential write. A heat map showing bright horizontal bands that appear partway across the heat map indicate a sudden change in the usage pattern of a database. This could be a rogue query or an unexpected surge in activity for certain rows. You can learn even more about exploring heat maps and understanding heat map patterns in the Spanner Key Visualizer documentation. In this video, we've looked at how Key Visualizer for Spanner can help you analyze usage patterns in your Spanner databases. This tool adds to existing monitoring tools such as query stats and monitoring in the Cloud Console to help simplify the process of monitoring and troubleshooting performance issues. In the description below the video, you'll find links to the Key Visualizer documentation. Key Visualizer is now available for all Spanner databases, so start exploring.